Welcome to Kinky Knots Cafe's Proactive is the Way. Proactive is the Way is a podcast brought to you by two sisters who dove into the health and wellness industry. One plan and the other by fate. We have joined forces to bring to you authentic conversations about our personal experiences as it relates to managing our health, working within the industry, and taking our combined knowledge to share with you some pearls of wisdom that you can take with you to live the best version of you. Over the next year, we will host two episodes a month. Each month, we will focus on a topic that is designed to increase an awareness of tools and resources to enhance an aspect of your mind, body, and spirit. Today, we are diving into mind mapping, a topic that we first highlighted back in October of 2022, when we discussed the book, Designing Your Life, written by the authors Burnett and Evans. I wanted to dive deeper into this topic and make sure that you know how to effectively mind map as you begin to create your odyssey plans. We will learn all about mind mapping as we review Mind Mapping by Cam Knight, And I also included Tony Buzan. What if I told you that your inability to effectively learn is a product of your environment and not necessarily due to your intellect? This is due to our current educational system. A system designed to tell us what to learn, but doesn't show us how to learn. As the author shares, we are a product of an educational system that doesn't offer a proper way to classify and organize information to retain it. As you can imagine with the constant influx of information that we receive on a daily basis, By the time we master a skill, it becomes obsolete. So how do we combat this and improve our capability to classify and organize information to learn faster and have better retention? Let me introduce you to mind mapping. Mind mapping is an innovative technique for effective learning and retention. It is a method that mimics how the human brain naturally processes, manages, and stores data. It's a method that takes us from the information age into the intelligence age. When I was in school, and even up until now, I have always created outlines. And let me give you an example. I'm going to show this to you. Hopefully, you'll be able to see my outline that I have in which I am doing now. Screen's a little blurry. have my fingerprints everywhere. But I'm showing you my study habits. I tend to take notes by creating outlines. And if you had an opportunity to take a look at my notes, uh, these are notes in which I have for an upcoming exam uh, in another week. But for years, I have created my notes this way. And while it has been effective, I will admit I fail to retain data effectively. 
I was, and even up until this day, known as the, I'm not for sure, <laughs> girl. I, I always said that. Someone would ask me something, I would say, mm, I'm not for sure, which meant I know the answer, but I need to go and reread what I know to be certain that what I'm about to share with you is accurate. So how can I transform this type of behavior and go from the, I'm not for sure girl, to Toya is always on it. As the authors share, it is through mind mapping. So what is it? Mind maps are the combination of an outline and hierarchical presentation of information. And let me take a moment to put up an example for you. Hopefully you can see this mind map. And we'll talk about it in a little bit more detail later. But I just want to highlight, provide you a high level overview. You have a main topic. And the main topic is how to mind map. But that topic in this particular example, it forms branches to lower level ideas to which they are related. With the mind map, data is structured in a manner that no matter how complex the branches get, you can always follow the hierarchy back to the main topic. In addition, it's very flexible. It allows the brain to continuously see new associations and to think outside the box, making it easier to link ideas at a later stage. You can do this using color coordination, images, and shapes. So this method, it really spoke to me. I am definitely not a linear thinker. Even when I begin to construct an idea, I start at almost the end and build structure and order on the front end and the back end of what I've created. It's the reason you will rarely find me using a pen. Actually, never. I only buy big 0.9 millimeter to be exact mechanical pencils <laughs> because as a creative person, I like to make a lot of edits. And this is actually one of the benefits of leveraging mind maps. By nature, I am creative, but what if that is not your natural inclination? Mind mapping will help you because it stimulates creativity. It allows you to create ideas and let your thought process flow without commitment or condemnation. And who, who likes to just let thoughts flow randomly and freely? If that sounds like you, <laughs> mind mapping is for you. It's for you because you can bounce from one idea to the next. You can add thoughts or categories as they arise. Another benefit is that mind mapping, it thrives on brevity. It allows you to use associations. It incorporates sight. It improves your organization, enhances creativity, and it's more concise. It eliminates all that fluffy stuff. 
And it helps you to focus on the essential elements relating to the subject. So I'm going to bring back up that image that I shared earlier. All right. So let's take a look at how to effectively create a mind map. I thought this was pretty cool. He has an example on how to mind map as a mind map. As you can see, there's the main topic, how to mind map. And how to mind map, this is your main focus. And then he has subtopics that branch off from the main topic. And subtopics are noteworthy components or characteristics of the main thought. For example, structure, style, lines, the use, the modality that we would use to mind map paper. Will we use some sort of application? And then he shows how you can enhance the mind map. You can enhance it by thickening the branches, adding color coordination images. And on this one, he actually added an outline in between. So you really can tailor it to fit your preference. This is so fascinating to me. I am definitely intrigued by this method and I hope that you are too. It is extremely versatile. And I chose Cam's book because he shows in detail the versatility of the mind map. You can use it for lectures and presentations, research, brainstorming sessions. You can use it for group or teamwork and even for grocery shopping. <laughs> he even highlights the effectiveness that mind maps can have to improve the cognitive abilities in children. I will close with a clip from Tony Buzan. Uh, Tony was at a TED talk and he shared the beauty of mind mapping when teaching children. This is the human language. The human language is imagination and multiple sensory associations. That's the way we all speak. Prime. The other languages, verbal, are subroutine. Important, second routine. And that is the genesis of all creativity all thinking, and that's how mind maps are generated as well. Here is an example. This is a, a one study in America, Mexico, with young children and their creativity. And general creativity show that as people get older, creativity does what? Goes down. And everybody knows it, and all the studies prove it. And that is normal. However, that's the bad news. The good news is it is not natural. As you are about to see, one of the most moving and delightful moments of my life. This was a study done with these little children, and they were asked to generate as many ideas or uses for a paperclip they could think of in 10 minutes. This is the first example. A little boy, 10 minutes, he generated four ideas. Four ideas. His researcher, a lady, Amerik Jenkins, <clears throat> taught him for one hour only that radiant human language and thus mind maps. He had one hour lesson and then he was asked the same question, how many can you think of and he was thinking of an elastic band. How many uses for an elastic band? 
same time, same paper, same fundamental equipment, same brain, one hour later, that's what he did. <laughs> 22 ideas. And he got no more marks for anything else. But you look at those lovely little circles. What are they? They're his feet. Those are his little trousers. Those are his little hands. And what's that rising sun above the elastic band? That's his head. And when he did it, in the beginning of the first test, he was saying, I can't, I'm not very creative, I'm not very creative vocally. When he did that, he looked up at the researcher and he said, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> and he is. I mean, look at it. That's one hour before from the information age. One hour later from the intelligence age. And that mind map is a flower of intelligence. So all around the planet, there are these flowers of intelligence. And one flower is the real power. That is the power of intelligence. The power of you. The power of every brain on the planet. So that is really flower power. <laughs> That's flower power. Great information, folks. Once again, I have only touched the surface of this book. If you have not checked it out, I recommend that you do so by heading to my KK Cafe approved book list on www.kinkynotscafe.com. Further details will also be enclosed in the description. Join me in two weeks when I share how well this technique worked for me on my test in which I shared earlier. I have been studying for the last four weeks and lo knows I need some help. <laughs> So I will definitely keep you posted. All right. So before we wrap up, I would like to announce our winner for the quarterly book giveaway. Remember, folks, to participate, you need or you should have completed. You could have completed any of the following. Signing up for the Proactive is the Way group. Signing up for Proactive is the Way podcast on Podbean. And I chose Podbean. You can sign up anywhere on any platform that we are on. We're on Amazon, Apple. You can sign up on any platform, but I chose Podbean because that's exactly where we host our show. Or, and, including, participate in any activity that we host for the quarter. So if I have one, two, three, four, five activities going on, participate in them all. Why? Because the more that you do, the more entries you have to win. Our winner this quarter is Miss Leslie Atkins. Congratulations, Leslie. I will DM you so that we can arrange to get your prizes to you. All right, folks, that's a wrap. If you have any questions, want to learn more about the book, the speakers, or to access all replays, please visit www.kinkynotscafe.com. Proactive is the way, my friends. Take good care. Mm -hmm.